Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Noma Factory GTCU Hard Mode. All right, so today or yesterday, or last episode, uh, we were working on extra utilities. Uh, we were working on the water mills. I think I was doing some of that on camera, but I think I got the rest off camera. And then I went ahead and just added the water in this configuration. So. Each mill here is generating 16 per, so we have a total of 64 uh, GP. So that will constantly fill or power this resonator here. There's nothing in there because I had put uh, coal in there earlier off camera, and from that I got 16 red coal. So we can now get into the black steel portion, which also this will open up the end need the black steel plates to make the cake and black steel is going to be made with red coal void crystal black bronze and steel so we can get into the end today if we wanted to however i would need to get some enchants and whatnot to handle the dragon um uh, jetpack how it shouldn't be that crazy to get into right yeah no i think that should be pretty easy so probably get like a jetpack get like a bow and pretty sure I can just make infinity um, enchant here. Yeah, that will be lapis and some grains. So I believe this is for like the bow or the arrow. I think it's a bow. So that way I can just keep shooting the, uh, the Minecraft bow. I don't think I'm going to be able to make the fluxed bow that I usually make when I go to the end because that requires... Uh, the Flux Electrum, which in this case, we're not at Signalum yet, or Lumium. Lumium, how bad is that again? Uh, we're going to need Primal Mana for one thing. More Luminescence, Sterling Silver, Tin Alloy, Clathrate. Yeah, the Nether Quartz. There's not a real big way to make more Nether Quartz. Is there... Well, I guess we do have a means of infinite sand now, so we could arc furnace that sand, turn it into glass, and get quartz that way. So it is possible. But uh, that would be probably a few episodes worth of stuff that we needed to do to get to that bow. So I'm going to skip that for now. Uh, did I do anything else major? I don't think I did. Well, actually, I say that. I also put up some autoclaves here. You see that one has pulsating iron and one has vibrant alley. Uh, I needed that because I want to be able to make vibrant crystals, but also uh, pulsating crystals. These things are used for a, no a number of different items coming forth, like the thrusters, for example, vacuum chest, um, farming station, and then later down the road, this whole thing. But I'm pretty sure vibrating crystal is useful for other things in a more recent term, like the powered spawner, more thrusters, vibrant capacitor banks, that kind of stuff. Also the farming station. Oh, and soul binding. We'll need the prescient, uh, prescient crystals and the ender crystals probably later on, but not very soon. And I don't think I added any more multi blocks back here. I think this is old. But uh, let's get to what I'm going to be doing today. I made the multi smelter, which this thing is basically just a big old furnace, and it's going to allow us to cook things up super quick. All right, so there's not too much involved in this recipe. In fact, actually, you know what? I think I need to put the yeah. Okay. Uh, Where my branch go? Okay, so that goes away. That goes down there. Boom, 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 boom. All right. And now for the hatches. Let's I'll put that one there. That there. And the rest can... Oh, I am going to need input-output buses. Forgot about that. Originally, I was going to make a distiller before I came on camera. But then I changed my mind. There's the input bus. There's the output bus. Okay. 
I still want to make that distillery. Uh, and by distillery, specifically, I mean the one to make distilled water. I could probably request up some items and do that on camera uh, in today's episode. Okay, so there we go. Oh, uh, there we go. Structure of wait, structure of structure of I can talk. Structure obstructed. What does that mean? Uh, second. Oh, I think the I don't think I rotated the uh, the muffler hatch. That's probably it. There you go. I probably could just drill these. That's fine. All right, so no problems. Cool. Let's see if I have anything I can smelt. The dust, rare earth, ashes. Probably need more. Wait, did I not set this up to be electrolyzed? I might need to do that. Uh, that's not. Oh, here we go, manganese. All right. So if you come over here, put that in there. I guess it's better to watch it, the input bus. But yeah, you can see that. Let me do that again. You can see in here that's processing 32 items at a time. Oh, and I need to grab that out of there. Uh, if we get the interfaces here. Oh, that's for the distillery. While I'm here, let me just request, not that. Let me request, oh, the hatches already have those, okay. Uh, do I have the input hatch for the fluid? <clears throat> input hatch. And... I have the distillery. Oh, I need the hatch for the power. I have a converter for the uh, distillery, distilled water distillery. Okay, that might take some time. There's that input hatch. Uh, I did upgrade the wire, the wire mills to HV. Uh, so that is a speed increase there. Although unfortunately, I think I still have a medium voltage set up. I need to add another uh, expander slot to the HV, and then that will be fine. I don't want that. Oh, I don't want that. All right. Cool. Oh, there we go. It's done. Cool. So, oh, I also need to output hatch for the. Uh, Distilled water, if you will. And I don't need a second interface for the water to go in because I'm going to have the uh, the water cover going there. Any second now. Boom. All right. I should probably add... I probably should have put a, uh, I, should, I probably should have named the interface on the input. I'll probably do that actually. I'll probably come back to this. Okay, so that's the, that's the output, so we'll put that there. And let's see, how would I want to, exp I guess, expand this way? So at least that will move any items we put in there out. Okay, so can we, let's see about assembling the uh, distillery. Probably, let's see here. I imagine there's a row of blocks here, probably three separation. So, and of course I put my torches away. Uh, where are we on time? In 10 minutes. Something like that. So, 
Still a tower. Pretty sure that goes on the bottom. So like that. I'll put hatch. And you know what? I think I'll just put the input hatch there. I don't know if that's going to exactly work, but we'll find out. Oh, uh, I forgot two things. I don't think I need the muffler hatch. Or does it need to have a space between the top and bottom? I don't think I have any... Ma Damn it, I need a, get a, need a better way to get out of here. I don't think... That the uh, distillation towers have any manner of... Muffler? No. Okay, so I think it might just need to be... A, it's either the input bus needs to be on the bottom. Like I remember it doing all the time. Or it's a matter of the height of the machine. Let's get rid of that for now. Oh, I don't need to do the corners. Ah, damn it. Alright. And moment of truth. Okay, it doesn't like something. Uh, steel casing, output bus, energy hatch, input hatch. Wait. Maybe, okay, let's just try moving the input hatch in. Okay, what is it? Might perhaps get in the middle block? No, that should be right. Let me then... No, that's there. No output bus on my other distilled towers, is there? No. And there's no out muffler hatch as far as I know either. Oh, damn it. Let me try something here. Oops. Okay, so terminal. Ah, hey. Okay. okay, let me just try and do bugs. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, everybody. So apparently, it was just a matter of having two output hatches. I don't know why that's the case, but if we look at the recipe, it does say two output hatches. So it's working now. That's good. Okay. Needs maintenance. What is it missing? A wrench and a hard hammer. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hammer? 
French. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we'll get under the machinery here. And I probably forgot to grab conduits. We're powering this. But no worries. Okay, so that's the input, right? Put that in there. And that goes there. And then I guess that will go here, right? Okay, so then the conduit will come out here and pipe into that thing. And there we go. Okay, so I'm going to detour from that for the time being. So we have the mixer here, and I'm going to go ahead and name this HV Empty Mixer. And that is going to be how we're going to make uh, black steel. Okay, let's get over here to our HV line. Plop that on there. Let's see, put that there, put that there. Bada boom. I'll put... Okay. So then, uh, black steel. We're gonna make the recipe, but we also need to do a little bit extra here. So, come to the mixer, right? We have the red coal and the white crystal. We need to get rid of the red coal for a moment. All right, and we're going to put that in its place. Something about MBT data being a thing is why sometimes you have to recode a recipe by making a certain item by hand and then put it in the recipe. Red coal is one of them. White crystal should be fine. I'm going to go ahead and leave that as it is. Okay. Mixer, I'll put that there, and black steel. Let's just say 63, why not? Oh, we need to make steel dust. Okay, not a problem. Mixer, acer rate. There you go. Dust, I will need to make a macerator for HV, but. There we go. We should be able to now have black steel as soon as this crafts up. Actually, is that? Oh, cool. It's done. All right, then for the black steel, we're going to have to put it in the furnace. That'll take 10 seconds at, well, MV. So about five seconds for black steel. Okay. And that's cooking up. And there we go, our first black steel, baby. All right, so now the black steel, we'll go ahead and make the black steel plate. Bender. Plate. Go. And cake. And cake. Oh, I need one of those and then black steel plate. Bada bing, bada boom, and cake. Actually, I'll put this over in the uh, usual area where I have my cakes. Okay, we're not going to click that just yet, but we're going to make sure that we don't eat this to completion. To refill it, we're going to have to use iVendor, as it says in the tooltip there. All right. Although, although, now that I have the end, I can easily go in there, grab a lot of end stone, and use that to make more end steel. So that's pretty cool. Uh, additionally, there's probably going to be a lot of ores in the end that I can't get otherwise. Uh, so yeah, that'll be a thing. Okay, so assembler, we'll make the bow this way. SE, there we go. Uh, I guess here is fine. I don't have string. Really? Do I have any... Okay, I, got, I can do wool.
I should probably have put that in the HV Mesa Raider. No, but uh, no big deal. Keep boat. Still needs more string. There we go. Okay, well that cooks. Oh, the boat's done. There's that. Oh, uh, we don't have lap. We don't have the grains of infinity. Infinity? Infinity. Infinity. And we don't have enough lapis either. Where did I put the autoclave? Where is the autoclave? Am I getting confused? Oh, here it is. Oh, shoot. Okay, I might have to hold off on the bow enchant for the bit. I want that distillery done. So let's get the energetic wire. And then we're going to need some conduit. That, that. And we have cable. All right, so let's go back to the distillery and get that hooked up. Also going to need to make a autoclave. Yeah, autoclave for the uh, lapis so that I can get that done much more quickly. Okay, so make sure we put it like that. Oh, I like that. Wrong item. Okay, boom, boom. And we're going to wire cut this sucker. Come over here. Oops. Give me that conduit. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Now, I guess I can get rid of it like this. There we go. Oh, so that's cooking now. Fuck my face. All right. So, distilled water. Yeah. Go ahead and extract this. Oh, okay. So now that should be... Oh, I guess we don't have a tank or distilled water, but we're having a storage bus somewhere that's holding distilled water. All right, no matter. We did a bus and we'll take care of that. Okay, so now with the black steel done... Egg Thief, Outer Islands to get Chorus. Uh, we'll want to get into advanced components. Glowstone plate, electro plate, black steel, luminescence. Oh, yeah. I'll probably want to make a, ch uh, a system of machines that will handle uh, the phosphoric acid here. So the phosphorus came from EBF. So what I might do here then is have something where I have a spare blast furnace that's dedicated to coke, sand, and tricalcium. Coke is going to be interesting because I'm not currently stocking that. I may have to make some sort of pyrolyzed oven to handle all of this. But I guess in the meantime, we can just make do with a spare blast furnace. Something like this. But no, that wouldn't be good in the spirit of automation. So I might then have to, what I might do though, is make a pyrolyzed of oven to make coke, but stop it once it's reached a certain amount of coke. Right, like I have a endless supply of charcoal right, charcoal right now. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get coke that way, am I?
Cole, Cole, Cole. Damn it. All right. Okay. Well, that's out of the question. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could just feed it coal and stop it when we have a set amount of coke that way. Got a lot of coal ore. Uh, what, how annoying would this be to send through the ore washing? I mean, we'll get coal dust. Coke dust. I don't think that would work. Coal dust. There's no way to solidify it, right? Not that I can see. Packager. No. Okay, well, that's a bummer. Might just smelt this in the multi smelter and get coal that way then. Oh, wait, crushed coal? Oh, okay, that's what I thought. I thought for a second I could. No, I can't, I can't smelt up coal dust, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. It can be burned, but not in the way I want it to. All right, so I'm just going to have to make do with smelting coal ore, which means I've got to go on mining trips for coal. At least until we get uh, micro, I mean, uh, yeah, micro miners going. Okay, so we're going to need to get luminescence set up and then make our way into these tables. But same time, we want to get into microminers. We also need to get into deuterium. HV agent more efficiently in IV age. You can get this from processing ender air. Yeah, ender air. We were going to need this eventually. But we're going to need IV in order to make this or to process this liquid ender air. Okay, so let's see. Progression wise, what's this? Oh, progression wise, to get into EV, we're going to need to get tungst uh, IV. We're going to get tungsten, and then tungsten steel, and there's IV machine cases down there. Right, I think. I don't like space. Oh, we can do centrifuge of hydrogen for deuterium. That is true. That that would be an easy um, uh, optional way. What's our hydrogen levels at? Okay, we got plenty for st plenty of spare. So hydrogen. There's no like uh, multi centrifuge way right I had to do damn it e e u t r okay yeah i'm gonna have to do under air well now hold on a minute i wait what would be more efficient here hydrogen would be easier ender air would give us more considerably i mean i could go set up a gas collector in the ender right collector uh let me see if that's viable actually oh we are actually running out of time uh ender air crap it needs hp I mean, that's not a big deal. Uh, I can just make an HV collector and then get a, um, 
HV turbine and give it some benzene. That should be doable. So I think what would be more smart would be to get um, the dragon dead first so that we're not bothered by him. And that way, no, uh, I don't think the dragon can affect our machines in there. But I wouldn't want to risk it anyway. So gas collector, okay. Then turbine, okay. So I have, oh, I have the parts that I need. Uh, well, I can't really go into the, I'm not going to go to the end right now. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end the episode now, and I'm going to go get some things done. I'm going to get some more lapis. I'm going to get some more grins and infinity. I'm going to get some armor, probably uh diamond armor. Oh, okay. That shouldn't be too terrible, but I do need to get uh gold armor and then titanium to make the diamond. I'm going to enchant that, which I might need to do, do some more mining or something to get more experience. And that way I'll be ready for the dragon. I don't, I think I'll need much. Probably just the armor and a bow enchanted. And uh, yeah, we'll kill a dragon and we'll go from there. There's a lot of stuff that we can do from here. So I'm going to try and get stuff done as much as I can. Anyway, I uh, hope you did enjoy. I will see you. Ooh, might need to go check on this. I will see you all in the next one. That's all for now.